The sight of this sickly skinny man in a banana hammock makes me want to use a rusted metal back scratcher on my eyes. Oh, let them bleed, dear God, let them bleed. Even the cute bikini girls can't overshadow his floppin' Peter pouch. Please get it off the screen. The sound of his voice makes me want to tape two screaming babies on both sides of my head. Oh, dear God, sweet relief. But it's not a song. It's my life. It's my life. It's my life. Vanu Malesh has all the talent and the singing voice of the very next Vanu Malesh. I kind of picture hell as being a place where there's this great big giant music player. It's on shuffle, but the only song on the playlist is this fucking song. Another thing to love about this music video are the lyrics. People think that I'm somewhat mental. They don't know. I'm very sentimental. That's deep. That's deep shit. That touches me right down to my spleen. My teacher scolds me that I neglect education. She don't know I got like real education. My neighbor thinks that I am wasting my time. It's a beautiful day. Let's go outside and play. Three Beat Slide presents a pretty good case for genetically altering humans so that all future children will be born without vocal cords. Or without eardrums. One or the other. Something's gotta be done. Yeah. Tickle, oh, yeah! Walk, 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 skip, 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 skip. Tickle, oh, yeah! Doesn't matter where you are, you can even do it in your car. East Coast, West Coast, Mid States too, they know how to really shake it too. Three Beat Slide is a dad son daughter trio who produce some of the worst music on the planet hey you know like i get it they're just having fun making music but for god's sake it doesn't mean they have to share it with the world it's summertime and isn't it great it's summertime when everything's great and be number one in the nation and be number one in the nation black hispanic African, Asian, you can succeed. After watching their video, I kind of feel like my ears contracted a new form of venereal disease that affects the ear, like ear herpes or Ghana era or something like that. Yo tengo una visión, es como una fantasía, un sueño hecho realidad. I was surfing the net when an email sign came Jan Terry is a mysterious musical creature all unto herself. If she was an ancient siren, sailors would never have to worry about being lured to their death. Listening to her sing is kind of like going to the dentist and finding out you got teeth in your fucking ears and they all need to be pulled. Here's a fun fact, the universal sign language for Jan Terry is punching someone in the ears. Yeah, that's right. If you want to say Jan Terry, just punch someone in the ears and they go, oh, you're talking about Jan Terry? I'm joking now, with my left hand and right hand, but that's okay if you got I'll give it to Ray Dog. he's done what I thought would be the impossible. He's created a song that makes me want to give up jerking off. That's right, I'm not going to jerk off anymore. Why? Just knowing I might be doing something sexual that Ray Dog does makes me want to not do it. Furthermore, after the release of this video, I guarantee you he just created thousands and thousands of new lesbians. Women who weren't even curious, not even a little bit, about being with other women have just turned gay. And you know what? I can't say I blame them. Thanks a lot, Ray Dog. Thanks a lot. My dick is so hard, I got a little boner. Before I have to jerk my skull. My dog is dying, and now I'm all alone. Some people say. Walk into the club looking kinda sexy now. Yeah. Yeah. I see these shorties in the corner, they start making out. And pull their panties down. They take their pants off. A band with such a deep, complex, and clever name 
should be able to spit out some pretty fucking heavy tunes about teen angst, crappy mall hours, and the sheer frustration of having to wait in line for an iPhone. They kind of sound like the operating room of a coat hanger abortion clinic. Lots of screams. Lots of screams. What do you get when you combine a really fucking shitty singer and a guy who screams like he's getting anally raped by a bear with a razor blade dick? Answer, broken side. Let's get freaky now. Let's get fucking freaky now. Let's get freaky now. Let's get fucking freaky. A vast ye land lubbers here be chainmail. This bald headed Captain Highliner looks like he just got fired from a pirate themed restaurant for dipping his sperm whale in the soup. Yuck. Luckily for everyone, they let him keep his uniform and a star was born. The best part of this music video is the reaction from the passers by, and I'm sure they're wondering what the fuck is going on as much as we are. They said it's romance, and so we all had to dance. It's a I think the title of the song, Schizophrenic Breakdown, isn't so much uh, him delving into his own personal experiences as it is what it causes the uh, listener to experience. What do you think? I think you're right. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. <laughs> Clearly, Holland doesn't lock the doors of their mental institution and Zingarinus is free to come and go as he pleases. There's a lot of weird sexual energy in this music video. I'm talking next level weird sex energy like wearing a priest outfit and letting a dog lick your arsehole while you have sex with a cat corpse in your parents' bed as they sleep next to you. Yeah, that level weirdness. <laughs> This first video features a pair made in heaven. Here's a guy with the charisma of a worn out shoe and a girl with the sexual energy of a folded piece of liver. He touches her with all the subtlety, grace and elegance of a serial rapist. And she recoils like his hands are made of hydrochloric acid. Love is in the air and it smells like doo doo. <laughs> The second video features a guy who looks like he eats crack cocaine cereal sprinkled with marshmallow meth treats. Yummy fucking yummy. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. But hey, anyone wearing a Goonies t-shirt can't be all that bad. I was gonna say he was the worst rapper ever until I saw this guy. I never seen someone like you before in my life. If you with me, I sound sleep special. Baby, I got none. Who is this fucking spaceman and what does he want with our planet? He should spend less time rapping and more time eating. He's so skinny, Ethiopian kids are sending him food. I have no idea what this guy is saying. None. Fight a translator, that translator would need another translator just to understand what the fuck he's mumbling about. Got some question I gotta ask ya. Push your hands up on that floor. Okay, let's go. Let's go and follow, let's go. I was going to put this Russian boy band singing some goofy Christmas song on the list, but these guys are like the Beatles compared to this next music video. And I thought this was the worst music video until I stumbled further down the rabbit hole and discovered this hidden gem. This god awful music video makes me want to pour hot magma into my ears and then seal them up with cement permanently. When you need some help, 
just come to the man of love. They spare no expense in the making of their music video for their song, Raise some cane. They get the best magic markers for the drum kit and the most expensive crack whore available Monday morning. These fucking glassy-eyed 50-year-old rockers have all the pep and energy of 80-year-old rockers. Raise some cane. And now, if you've been brave enough to sit through this giant pile of horseshit music videos, I present to you a man who proves Without a doubt, there is no God, or at the very least, God has no ears and no mercy. Walk in my city, where I'll never die, where the saint in millions never say goodbye. There we'll meet our Savior. Thanks for dropping by and checking out our video. Feel free to rant and rave in the comment section below. We'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all your 10 favorite things.